your energy forecast for June 2024. So on June 17th, we have two different shifts taking place. One, Venus, the other, Mercury, both moving into Cancer energy pretty much within hours of one another. So let's first talk about the shift. Venus and Mercury have been in Gemini energy. And of course, Venus's time in Gemini energy was kind of debating between whether we're going to keep things the same, whether we're going to continue to communicate the same way and get the same result, or whether or not we're willing to spice things up. We had an intellectual interest to kind of push us out into the world to explore and experiment, especially where relationships are concerned. But we were kind of torn between the up, the down, the back, the forth, the good, the bad, the stay, the go. Again, Gemini energy being very extreme, very divisive. Well, Venus moving into Cancer energy, now we have to do a deep dive in the feels. We were thinking intellectually about how it is that we were feeling about our happiness, our joy, our safety, security, our stability, our romantic relationships, our other relationship dynamics, and our finances. We were just taking information in. We were thinking our way through how it is that we thought we were feeling about certain options, certain opportunities. Moving into Cancer energy, of course, being a cardinal water sign, things are going to get a little bit more emotional. We are now having to move into the heart space. We have to now kind of feel our way through a lot of the options, a lot of the variables, a lot of the opportunities that we've been debating between while in the Gemini energy. So Venus moving into this Cancer energy, first of all, we have to understand that Cancer energy is ruled over by the moon. The moon, of course, is the ruler over our emotional realm, our unconscious conscious programming, if you will. And because Venus is all about, you know, happiness and joy and safety, security, stability, especially where relationships are concerned, this is going to offer us an opportunity to kind of merge the division, those separate parts that became very clear to us under the Gemini influence back into wholeness, back into oneness, if you will. And that creates a new foundation for us to be operating from, especially where our emotions are concerned. So Venus moving into this Cancer energy, is very nurturing. She, of course, is very home and family oriented. She's very protective, semi-defensive, especially of what it is that she's already built, what she's already created. The interesting dynamic is, of course, in the Gemini energy, we just opened ourselves up to seeing where it is that we could do things differently, where it is that we could try new things, where it is that we could, you know, basically adopt different methods, especially with communicating our emotion and our affections to the people that need to hear it. We dive into the Cancer energy. Cancer energy is notoriously attached to the past notoriously holding on to the past for dear life. So just when we have this illumination of where it is that we could spice things up and try new things and do things differently, moving into the cancer energy, now we're definitely going to struggle with whether or not we're actually able to adopt these new methods, this new perspective, this new way of communicating, this new way of being. Venus being in this cancer energy, she's very cautious, especially with her emotions, especially with her family, with who it is that she loves. There's a protection energy that comes out. It's like mama bear energy in this cancer energy. We also have to understand that it does kind of trigger inner child work. It also triggers a lot of shadow work that needs to kind of dance around the mother role. Again, Mother Moon, she's very loving, very nurturing, very protective of our emotions, of the foundation in which we have to nurture ourselves back to in order to feel safe and secure within ourselves, within the relationship dynamics that we're choosing to have. So there's going to be a lot of ups and downs in this Cancer energy because, of course, it is water. Water being the only element that can take on different forms, a gas, a liquid, a solid, depending on the external influences and what that's actually meaning for us. But basically, we are going to become super sentimental, especially where love is concerned. We are going to gain a lot of sensitivities, again, being hypersensitive to the world around us. There is a little bit of a... I want to call it whiny demeanor that comes over us when we have planets moving into the cancer energy 
because we're talking about Venus here, has a lot to do with the whininess, with the clinginess, if you will, in our personal relationships. Now, one thing that we're definitely going to become aware of is where it is that we love certain things, not just people, but what brings us a sense of happiness and joy, what brings us a sense of pleasure. And we want to further dedicate our time, our energy to creating more time and space to involve these types of things in our realm, in our reality. And so when it comes to relationship dynamics, we are definitely going to be more lovey-dovey, more sentimental, more romantic, if you will. And we're also going to be a little bit whiny, stage five clingers. And we're also going to be a little bit attention seeking, if you will, um, in order to get the kind of attention that we want, we need, we desire. So it is going to be a little bit of a reality check on the changes that need to take place within us and in our relationship dynamics in order to create a new foundation where we feel loved and protected and safe and secure. And the more that we feel those things, the more we open up, the more real, raw and vulnerable we actually become. But we also have to realize that, again, we're going to be a little bit guarded, defensive, protective with our emotions as well, especially if we're not feeling safe and secure and stable in certain relationship dynamics. And again, it's going to be very hard to break away from romanticizing the past, from holding on to the past, from really just desperately keeping those attachments alive and well when we know damn well that change is what we need to be doing. So our heart space definitely going to go through some, let's call it choppy stormy waters here for a bit in order for us to find our safe spot, our grounding spot, the middle ground, if you will, where again, we can kind of feel safe and secure in the emotional realm in which we are currently trying to nurture back to a place of health and wellness. Now that's just Venus's part. We have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, still ruling over the Gemini season that we're still into until June 20th when the sun shifts into Cancer season and of course triggers the solstice. But Mercury's been in his rulership in the Gemini energy for the last two weeks. It was a very short transit. If you want to go back and listen to what Mercury in this Gemini energy was all about, definitely go ahead and do so. But you will hear me say that we are going to be very much welcoming Mercury moving into Cancer energy because our heads are going to feel like they are going to explode if we sit in this Gemini energy any longer. Now, let's also just kind of remind ourselves that Mercury in Gemini energy was all about information. We were like information hoarders. That's why we feel like our brain is about to explode with the processing that we've been having to do of trying to see different sides of the coin, trying to see different perspectives, trying to just, you know, analyze things from a different level of awareness. Well, Mercury moving into Cancer energy is definitely going to be a different vibe because this is where we get to kind of move out of the intellectualizing part of what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks with Mercury and his rulership and Gemini energy. Now we have to feel our way through a lot of the thoughts, a lot of the ideas, a lot of the epiphanies that we thought our way through or thought we were feeling our way through while Mercury was in that Gemini energy. So Mercury moving into Cancer energy is where we kind of blend the intellect with our intuition. We take all of the information that we accumulated that we were able to kind of, you know, be aware of while Mercury was in Gemini energy. We just wanted all the information. Now we have to process it in order to just kind of retain the most important parts of it. So it's almost as if, you know, we were in the gathering stage. Now we have to weed through what it is that we've gathered in order to actually pick out the most important parts, kind of get rid of the parts that aren't as important. And from that, again, create a new foundation of understanding that we are going to be working with as we move through the solstice portal and, of course, lock in new karmic contracts. So to have Mercury move into this Cancer energy, we are definitely going to be thinking, 
on a much deeper level, because again, our instincts, our intuition kind of reigns supreme here. Um, we're going to be speaking with a little bit more empathy, a little bit more kindness, a little bit more, let's call it sentimentality. And the way that we kind of take information in from our odor realm is going to be on a much deeper level as well. Because again, we have to process it, yes, through the intellectual plane of our ego avatar, but also in our heart space, in our intuition, if you will, in order to actually read between the lines, taking it a little bit deeper than just surface level information. And so this is going to be a time where it's going to be a very interesting dynamic because Venus, our heart space, and Mercury being our head space, they're walking hand in hand in this cancer energy together. So this means that our heart and our head are in alignment. And if you've been with me for any amount of time, you would know that the decision points, the options, the direction, the path, the variables that we've been trying to choose, trying to align with through Gemini season, that we weren't going to arrive at a decision point until the end of Gemini season, moving into that solstice. That's when we lock in that karmic energy. So it's very indicative that have Venus and Mercury move into this cancer energy at the same time, that we are going to kind of arrive at a choice point, a decision point, a direction, a path that we've been debating between through this Gemini energy that will be a little bit more solidified on what it is that we're leaning into and towards with Venus and Mercury kind of doing their alignment, walking hand to hand in this Cancer energy together. So our heart and our head are in alignment. And just to give you a little bit of a time frame here, Venus moves into the Cancer energy at 2.20 a.m. again on June 17th. Uh, Mercury, on the other hand, moves into Cancer energy at 5.07 a.m. And of course, if you've listened to the Ascension forecast for this week, I do go on a little bit of a rant and ramble of all the different squares popping off as we're watching Mercury and Venus kind of make this transition. And of course, they conjunct each other at 8 43 a.m so that is when our heart and our head are going through a reset when some of the confusion is finally clearing when there is clarity actually entering into our realm of awareness and again having our heart and our head kind of move into this cancer energy together is going to be building a brand new foundation for us to be operating of so emotionally we have a new foundation that we're stemming from mentally we have a new place of understanding that we are operating from. And in this cancer energy, it's definitely going to bring up all of the feels as it's supposed to do in order for us to find that sweet spot, that understanding, that mutual agreement between how it is that we're thinking and how it is that we're feeling. So having these two kind of enter into the cancer energy individually is going to be a powerful shift, but together even more powerful. And again, we're kind of dipping our toe in that cancer energy pre-cancer season, which means that the solstice energy now sucking us into a karmic chapter, sucking us into a new timeline, sucking us into new soul contracts before we actually reach that solstice activation. So take a look in your chart to where the cancer energy resides. This is going to be the area of your life that is going to be most impacted over the next couple of weeks with all of these planets moving into the cancer energy. Of course, these two are the last events that you are going to find in Gemini season. So if you do have your Gemini season e-guide available, this is going to be the last hurrah, if you will, of this e-guide. And of course, the cancer season e-guide will be available for download load over the next couple of days. So with all of that being said, take special notice to how it is that you are feeling over the next couple of days as we kind of near that ending point of the Gemini energy reaching that 29th critical crisis degree before we pop into that cancer energy because it's going to be a totally different mood, totally different attitude. <laughs>